So we have to go to the farm and pass through the snow. And it was like, we took three hours before we pa we sneak we sneak to the border of U.S. to Canada, because the snow was very very deep, and if we step in, it, the snow was is on our waist. And had you ever seen snow before? I've seen snow in the state, but not like this one. This one is a very 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 dangerous one, very dangerous and. We struggled on it like three, three hours. We were still walking in the snow. My eyes all were frozen. I can't see nothing. So my friend, I was taking his footsteps. Understand? I was taking his footsteps. Whenever I can't see, I have to call him for him to stand to help me. Understand? Because I can't see nothing. And he stand and uh, when I call him, then he stand and he help him. Because we were, was, we were always struggling. We were helping each other. So three hours before we got to the highway of Canada, so we were working, we were working there. When we got there, we were working there. And like seven hours, we were working on that highway. No help. Wow. Because any truck that we stopped, the truck don't want to stop. Because, and I don't blame the drugs because they don't know us. Maybe if they were thinking if they stand, something will happen to them. So I don't blame them. It's the right thing for them to do. Even if it is me and I saw someone on the street like that, I, I don't know the person and I don't know whether it's going to hurt me or not. So, How fearful were you that you wouldn't make it? Well, we were, we were, about, to, we were about to give up. Because we know we're gonna die in that, in that snow on the highway. Because when we were stopping on the tracks, nobody was gonna, well, nobody didn't, nobody stopped till this good Samaritan God sent man, and he saw us, and we waved him, and he stopped. 